YouTube Desert Knife Guru. We're going to do a fixed blade review today. We're going to be looking at this right here. This is the Bear Grylls Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife. Comes in this package as you see it. It's got the uh, ferrocerium rod, the blade, little pocket uh, survival guide, and you flip it over and you got your sheath, which is a nylon plastic rubber combination. So we're going to open this up, take a look. You got your sheath, got your knife, got the lanyard, and you got your little pocket guy, and your Fair steam rod fire starter. So we'll put this together, show you as a complete unit. This snaps into here. That goes in, snaps in. And a little Velcro strap. Around there. And your little pocket guide. The pocket guide I read through. Uh, it tells you fire, clothing, shelter, I don't know, basic, basic things, things you, you see them do on the show or things that I learned when I was in Boy Scouts. So, kind of a read through and uh, kind of remember what you can. So, we'll toss that. Uh, let's look at the knife. Uh, open up, show the back portions of it first. This strap opens up. This strap. This opens up here. This is a uh, diamond impregnated uh, plate for sharpening your knife. And this is uh, held on with like a Velcro strap. You, uh, it's got a couple little small drainage holes. As far as I'm concerned, it would be better if it had a, one larger drainage hole. Seems like once you get in there, any kind of muck, it would have a little harder time getting out, drain, you know, draining that out. But that closes up here. Velcro strap, Velcro strap, let's flip it over, you have um, the guide for signaling, for uh, basically for uh, things that you do for to be rescued, shows you different uh, little very um, important things to do. Um, it's got a couple different uh, attachment methods, you have the traditional belt. It's very tight though. I would, ha I think you would have a harder time if you had a thicker belt. Um, I wear a 511 one and three quarter inch belt. And I think it would be kind of, kind of pressed to f try to fit it through there. So it's kind of almost too tight. And then of course you have your top and bottom strap. That way you can attach it uh, vertically or hor horizontally on a vest or on a pack strap. Slip it back over. You have your whistle uh, on the end of your lanyard. The uh, cord here is kind of cheesy. Maybe switch it out with the um, 550 cord. Whistle works. Um, it's got the uh, Gerber logo. You got your Bear Grylls signature right here. Uh, your Bear Grylls BG logo on the handle. This is your ferrocenium rod that locks in there. Um, the rod has two little tabs on either side here, which when you push it in, it locks in. I uh, foresee that probably wearing out. It's, uh, they're not that pronounced and they probably over time would wear, wear kind of wear down and eventually it would uh, um, pretty much pop out of there. It does have an O-ring to kind of help out, so that's one additional thing. Uh, these little por portions here, when you're grabbing it, are actually rubberized, so that's a plus. But that locks in there. Uh, one thing. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, this camera, but uh, it's got a little circle with a flame logo. That's basically for fire starting. And... Uh, Undo this Velcro strap. There's the blade. Actually, let's 
yeah, that's fine. I'll go back after. And uh, there it is. It's a almost a 10 inch overall length, four and a half inch uh, blade length. I like the blade shape. It's got some good belly here. Serrations, I think, are almost overkill. They, they should have kind of backed it off about a, I would say, a half inch. Almost too much serrations, in my opinion. But uh, it has the Bear Grylls signature, and that says Gerber. Flip it over, it's got that little uh, fire logo, circle with the flame, and that's basically for this right here. And they've basically notched this out. You grab your um, ferrocene rod, and that's been flattened, notched out, nice sharp edge. So you can get the strike off of that and uh, get a spark. So let's put that back in your sheet, lock that in. Okay, so the uh, choil, excellent, super comfortable grip. Rubberized, this is plastic rubberized grip. Very ergonomic, very well done. Thumb ramp, it's got some jimping. I think it should be a little sharper jimping. But the uh, choil is excellent. Really a good grip. It's got two holes here, basically for lashing this to a uh, pole for to make this a spear. Rubberized, very good, textured, comfortable. Um, the future, the uh, past knives, there was a problem with this cracking here. I think people were using this hammering pommel and this was actually to fracture here. But if you compare this one to the uh, previous ones, this one is I think twice the thickness, this portion of it here, from the uh, last year's models. So they kind of redid that. Uh, which is a good thing, reinforced it. Plus it looks like they use uh, additional epoxy there to really attach that pommel, hammering pommel to that, which is a stainless steel pommel. But uh, very well done, very good job on that. I think that's a excellent design. Um, okay, this is, uh, I think, designed after the LMF, Gerber LMF. I brought my scale in because I wanted to uh, do an overall weight on this. Knife and sheath, you're looking at 13 ounces. And sheath or knife by itself, you're looking at uh, 8.1 ounces for just the knife. So it's not too extremely heavy, but it's got some heft to it. Definitely a uh, Kind of a, a good setup. Um, price point: Walmart. Walmart here has it for 50 bucks. Uh, they do have a, a folding version of the Ultimate Survival Knife, and also just a small little pocket size uh, folding knife at my Walmart. But um, I think they did a good job with it. Price point: 50 bucks. Um, general public, affordable. High carbon steel, definitely got to take care of that high carbon steel blade. Um, I definitely, I think they made it a good price for the consumer. Definitely affordable. Um, definitely not a, I would say, a tactical knife with the uh, or orange portions on there. But, uh, I don't know, I think they did a good job with it, considering. But, uh, I give it a thumbs up. Definitely, uh, for the general public, I would say yes, definitely it's a, a good purchase. We'll see the test of time and see how long they last, parts and pieces. But I would say they did a good job. So that's just a first look at this. I haven't got out and tested it at all. But uh, $50, per, $50 purchase, definitely I think well spent for what it is. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, have a good day.